Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my shop mustache for the week. We're going to go through products I chose actually two weeks ago and pick new products to use for the week. So how was your week? I am filming on my birthday. It's Wednesday. We're actually going out of town for the weekend. We're going to Lagoon. If you're around my area, you might know what Lagoon is. I've never been and I've been in like what four hours away since i was little and i've never gone to lagoon this is the first time so yeah we're gonna make a trip down there and just have a little roller coaster slash water park fun and go from there so if you love shop mustache videos definitely continue watching also if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe and let's just go ahead and jump right in so first product from last week I had was my MAC Fix Plus. This is the matte version. If you want your makeup to stay on, definitely pick this up. And if you're oily, um, it definitely is matte. I feel like this one sets my makeup more than the Fix Plus. I feel like the Fix Plus just melts the powders onto the skin, whereas this one does actually keep my oils in check. And I don't usually have oils peeking through. I usually, my skin stays matte pretty much throughout the whole day. So definitely have been enjoying that. For eyebrows, I had a few products. Um, the first one is this AOA Studio Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. It's a very slim pencil. I think it does a job for a dollar. It's not bad at all. I think I would definitely repurchase that. Um, the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel is one of my favorite brow gels in my collection. This is in the shade Grind. I am going to leave this in another week because I feel like it's running out. So I think I'm just going to leave it in until it runs out. And I'll leave that there. And then lastly, the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is in Dark Drapes. Uh, it's like a, a thin pencil and also like a marker pin on the other side. Don't ever use the marker side. The pencil's a little too um, slippery for my liking. I don't think I'd repurchase this, to be honest. Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It's... I feel like this mascara is too wet for my liking. I don't know. Um, I don't. I feel like it's about done, but it's never really dried out. It's been like a really wet mascara. I haven't been blown away anytime I've used this since I've had it. So yeah, lipsticks. I had these two. I thought I had more, but maybe not. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Eight Two Four Guava. Gush. <laughs> um, this is a little too corally pinky for me. I think I'm going to pass this on. I did kind of just blot it on my lips, but I don't know. I think it's just too pink. So, um, I like the formula. So I'm definitely interested to trying out a different kind of, a different shade. It's actually pretty nice. And then also this L'Oreal, I'm not sure the name on this, but this is the I Rebel shade 104. Really nice, comfortable, kind of like a stain type of lippy it's really really nice so definitely enjoyed this color and formula oh i also use this mac extended play giga black lash i actually also use this on the top lashes and it was okay it's definitely better for the lower lash line because the wand is so small um yeah <laughs> my lashes were okay this week <laughs> or last couple weeks actually i've had my stuff in here for a while all these eyeliners are coming out. This little project pan and then that glitter. Okay, so these are LA Colors Gel Lip Liners. I've been using them in my waterline though. This one's in the shade Figgy and then this one's in the shade Fetching. This color right here, I wore it in my waterline a few times and I noticed my eyes looked red. It kind of pulls a little red and makes me look like I'm tired even though I am. I only get, I don't get the amount of sleep I should be but this one makes, um, me look tired so I probably won't be using this in my waterline anymore or maybe just when I actually do get some sleep um they're pretty pigmented they work pretty well LA girl liners this is also a lip liner in the shade outrage works pretty well and then this one's in the shade ocean I don't know if I use this so we'll leave that in and then these Isam liners work pretty well as well and then lastly up here I have this pixie glitter in the shade passion light um Glitters look really beautiful. Just to add a little pizzazz to the eyelids. And yes. Ooh, I just realized I forgot my Michaela palette. Um, I'll probably have to go get that. This is the Charlotte Tilbur Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in the shade 5. Actually, I thought this was pretty, not like overly matte or anything, but it stayed put on my skin and it didn't move around or anything like that. I know people had like mixed reviews on this foundation, but I actually liked it. Um, I thought it would be a little more glowy. 
I'm not sure the claims on this. I think I still have the... No, I threw the box away. Um, I thought I was hydrating, but it's actually pretty nice for everyday use. And I didn't have any issues. I felt like my skin still looked good by the end of the day. So I actually enjoyed this foundation. And the shade matches pretty good. I have the shade 5. For concealer, I had my KB Beauty um, Locket Concealer, I believe. Lightweight full coverage. I have the shade Light 114. Um, it works pretty well. It's a pretty good match for me as well, and I do like it. It's pretty much like a medium coverage concealer can be built up. Again, I'm getting older. I'm trying to not overly apply concealer to the under eyes because when I smile, I feel like my lines are emphasized. So I'm trying to condense those a little bit with less makeup, <laughs> but I did enjoy this concealer. Corrector, I pulled in my Jeffree Star Corrector in the shade Peach just to correct those dark circles I got. First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. This one works pretty well as well. It might be the combination of primer and setting spray that worked out really well with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, but this is one of my favorites. It's like matte, but not like overly drying or anything like that. One one that I felt was kind of drying was this one right here, the Makeup Forever. Um, this one's really matte on my skin compared to this one. This one's kind of like a little hydrating and matte, mattifying. But not overly mad playing like this one is, so yeah. I didn't use this again, so we'll have to leave this in. And then lastly up here is my Milk Makeup Translucent Light Blur Powder. And I really enjoy this powder, so. Okay, so I had the Michaela palette and then I came in here and grabbed the Dirty Martini by Glam Light. This is what this one looks like. I definitely like this formula way more than the Michaela palette. I think I'm gonna declutter my Michaela palette. I just wasn't impressed. The shimmers in the Michaela that weren't like the browns um, didn't stay on my lids. They kind of just felt like I had a light wash of shimmer and then by the end of the day, they were pretty much gone. These ones on the other hand, I feel like is a better formula because these stay on my lids, they're pretty pigmented. I didn't have any issue like putting the color on my lid whereas some of the mattes in the Michaela palette I did and again, I just didn't really enjoy the palette. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm just going to declutter it. I used it for two weeks. But that's why I came in here and grabbed this one. Because again, I've been using the Michaela for two weeks. And I wanted to test this one out too. And this formula is way better than the Michaela. So I'm going to keep this one. But the Michaela is going to go. <laughs> Michaela palette. Lastly, I have my Revolution um, Ultra Bronze Bronzer. This one's really beautiful. A lot of the bronzers I have in my collection are just really nice and bronze up the skin. They don't look muddy on, so definitely enjoy this one. Um, I picked up the All May um, Blush, Healthy Hue Blush. What shade is this? This is in the shade Nearly Nude. It's actually really beautiful and glowy on the skin. It's really, really nice. And I did really enjoy this blush also have my abh blush trio in peachy love very beautiful bright peachy colors there definitely enjoyed it patrick ta she's so la i don't know i didn't really enjoy this i don't know it's kind of more i don't know maybe bronzy maybe i'll enjoy it more in the fall time just because it's not very i don't know it's definitely not very summer color and i didn't use a cream but i did use the powder a few times and again it was just me for me, like the color. I like the formula, but the color was kind of not popping for me. <laughs> I love Sarayi, those of colors in the shade Bathe. It was really beautiful and reflective. Really enjoy these. This collab, I also have the other one, Soulmate, I believe it's called. Fair Minerals Endless Glow Highlight in the shade Joy. It was very beautiful. Um, I have another color like this in my collection, a highlight, and it's very beautiful. Don't be intimidated by it. Definitely pick it up. Another highlight from Nabla. This is in the shade Amnesia. Very beautiful. Doesn't just sit on the skin. I feel like it just looks like a glow from within. It's very, very beautiful. And then another blush here by Colourpop in the shade Night Bloom. This was, again, fun and bright and pretty and beautiful. Really enjoyed it. It's definitely more pink. Don't be scared of the, the pan. It's kind of scary, but on, it's actually a really beautiful pink kind of color. Very beautiful. And then lastly, I had my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder in the shade L1 Porcelain. I use this to apply on the skin, obviously, to set my foundation. Also have used this to set the under eyes, just kind of lightly. It does um, give my smooth look to the skin. I really enjoy this powder, and it's from the drugstore. It's definitely nice. Definitely pick it up. I think it's really, really good. Okay, so we are definitely ready to go ahead and shop my stash.
So again, I am going out of town for the weekend. So I'm going to pick a product, mix of products for the week and also like smaller stuff to take with me. So I think I might be taking a red lip. And this is the one I went straight to. So I'm going to take my Maxalina lipstick. And let's use this Tower 28 gloss in the shade Coconut. This was given to me by my friend Rania for my birthday last year, I believe. So we're going to take this as well. And I think that should be good. Palettes. I've actually been thinking of my Charlotte Tilbury palette. So I want to use that, maybe if I can find it. Um, it's right here. My Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Instant Eye Smoky Eyes Are Forever. <laughs> this one's really great formula. I really enjoy it. This is my only Charlotte Tilbury palette, but I'm definitely feeling this. I'm not going to take it with me on my trip, but I am going to pick a smaller palette, I believe. I think this is too big for travel. I like taking just something small. Oh, what if I just take this? This one's kind of broken. I think this is what I'm going to do. Though. Hopefully it doesn't break more. But I'm going to take my Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette for my trip. And then I think I'm going to pick another palette to use. Um, I did a makeup swap with Corey here on YouTube. Again, I'll link her latest shot my stash down below. Um, she also sent me the Charlotte Tilbury um, foundation, this palette, another Pat, a Pat McGrath palette, and then one from Linda Hallberg. I haven't used those other two palettes, but I want to test this one out and see. I haven't used it yet again, so... I'm going to use this. I'm super excited that she passed this on to me. Um, I've been eyeing it, but I never picked it up. So um, I'm not really sure why she decluttered it, but I'm excited to use this. So I'm going to take this. Um, for uh, setting spray, I want to use my Jaclyn Robin setting spray. This is going to be for here. I'm not going to take this with me on my trip. Um, I really like this spray, though. I'm actually going to take my um, airbrush from Charlotte Tilbury, the mattifying one um it's in my freelance kit because i've been freelancing like every other weekend so i've just been leaving stuff in my freelance instead of bringing it out because it's been nice to just have everything i need in my freelance instead of putting it back um but yeah i'm gonna take the charlotte tilbury for my trip and then for foundation um uh, hmm, let's see kind of was looking at this one the wet and wild tinted hydrator I think this is what's calling me. Maybe I'll pick two foundations to get more use out of other foundations as well. I was kind of eyeing this one too, the Pat McGrath. But I really need to use up my Tarte one. So we're just. Mm, maybe let's take the Fenty Beauty one as well. Mm. They're pretty much both the same, huh? Blurring skin tint. Tint tint hydrator. Tinted skin veil. <laughs> kind of picking the same stuff. I think this one had pretty good coverage though, so I'm gonna take both of these. For mascara, definitely taking my Essence Slash Princess False Slash Effect Mascara, my favorite. And it's only $5 from the drugstore. Eyebrows, I'm gonna take my Precisely My Brow. And my Kush Fiber Brow Gel. I'm going to also use my Kaleidos, no, I'm going to use my, the one in my Project Pam. I'm going to keep using this. I feel like there's not that much. It's kind of hard to take product out of this too. And if you have oily lids, this is really good. So we're going to take that one and then concealer. I'm going to use, I kind of have a slight tan. Mm. I'm going to take the Cover Girl or the L'Oreal. Mm, I'm gonna take I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna pick two. I'm gonna take these two. The L'Oreal I have the shade 360 cashmere and then the covergirl one I have M100 Golden Natural. Primer I have the um, Estee Lauder, but I'm actually also gonna also going to pick the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is very mattifying on me, so hopefully it works out for me. 
I'm gonna take the Urban Decay translucent powder for the drape, and then I'm also gonna take my pressed powder. I'm gonna take the Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade Transparent. For bronzer, I'm filling this Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. I take a face palette for my trip. It's more easier to take and less things. I should probably look into the face palettes to see what I'm going to use. Maybe. I think I'm going to take more hourglass. Again, let me look at them here. I like taking like something like this that has everything I need. need. So I'm definitely going to take this with me on my trip again. My weekend trip. I'm going to take this palette. The hourglass ambient. It has dim light, incandescent, electra, and euphoric strobe. Just to use what is here. And I'm also going to take this for blush this week. This is another one. This one has incandescent electra, which is that the same thing? Yep. <laughs> I have two of those. Brilliant lewd and euphoric fusion. These are so beautiful on the skin. Okay, so we have blush. Highlight, we actually have highlight in one of the hourglass palettes, but let's also take this one here, Maybelline in the shade Knockout. It was in collab with Puma, I believe. Super pretty. Maybe, yeah, gold, pinkish gold color. And I think that's good. Those are all the products for this week's Shop My Stash. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!